Hello everyone! Today we are back for a brand new tutorial series on Star Wars. So I recently made a Star Wars Young film which I strongly advise you to go watch and uh, we'll be creating this exact same shot. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. So uh, in this part, we'll be seeing how to make the blasters that come out of the X-Wings. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So on Blender, you can see I've already got a collection right here and it's an X-Wing. So don't worry, I'll put you a link in the description so you can go ahead and download it. But once you've got that, you can just import it in the scene, put it in a collection and just hide it because we don't need that for now. So uh, for the blasters, we're gonna go ahead and add a plane, which is gonna act as our emitter system. Like so. So you go ahead and rotate it, and then we're gonna add a particle system. So for the number, let's put 100. Then here on particle face, we put it to one and the velocity to 300. And a quick tip, make sure that in this tab, you unselect gravity, very important. So now if we go ahead and give a look to the animation, we've got little balls that are being thrown, but we want our blasters. So how do we do that? Very simple. We're just gonna go ahead and add a cylinder. Uh, yeah. We're gonna make it very small and scale it on the Z axis. Perfect. Now that we've got this, we can go ahead and create a new collection, which we're gonna call and call Blast. So I'll put the cylinder in there. And now if we go onto the emitter and on the particle systems, you can go down to render and render it as a collection. So we're gonna go ahead and choose the Blast, click whole collection, and on the scale, you're gonna put it to one. And boom! Now we've got some um, bars, but we want blasters. So how do you fix this? Just select your cylinder and just rotate it 90 degrees and done. Now we've got our blasters, but you'll notice a little issue. is that whenever I turn this some other direction, yeah, it's messed up. So to fix this, you're just gonna want to go to uh, the rotation tab just select it and here you're going to put it to normal tangent and then you're going to go ahead and select your cylinder and here you're going to set the z rotation to 90 and now if we go ahead and give it a look so everything's going fine and if we rotate uh, the emitter everything's fixed yay so another quick uh, thing is that you notice that uh, the blasting starts in the middle of the emitter. So how do you fix this? Very simple. You select your cylinder and we're just going to move it like so. Yeah, until it starts on the emitter. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Okay. Now, once you've done that, just go to object, set origin to 3D cursor and perfect. Now, if we hide our blast, you can see we've got uh, blasters that have been emitted. Now let's get to the color. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that collection back and go to Eevee. So right here on Eevee, you're, I'm gonna turn on blue. And now you can see there's no material, so we're not seeing anything. So we're gonna go here, then create a new material we're gonna change the principal shader to an em emission. The color is gonna be, yeah, a red. And then on the strength, you can either put it like really high, something like 50, see? Or you can put something more of a, of a 10 or 20. 20 should be good enough. Maybe not as red, yeah, like this. That's perfect. So yeah, now we've got our blasters. And so to finish all of that, we're going to add a light. So a point like that, we're going to make it red as well. And for the power, we're just going to put like a thousand 
Okay, perfect. And this point, we're going to put it also in the blast collection. So now it actually fires with the light. Now that we've got this, we can actually hide uh, the blast collection and go back to uh, preview mode. And that's where we're going to bring our X-Wing. So you got it. We're going to now put the emitter uh, in front of where the blast is supposed to come out of. So for that, we're just going to go ahead and move this around. See, front view, like so. Can zoom in. And then to get a, be a better view, just gonna go ahead, yeah, put it towards here and then put the wire view. Oops. Yeah, okay. Now just try to put it where the thing is supposed to come out of. So here is about right. See, it's not totally on uh, the X wing. So yeah, something like this. And as you can tell, the the width of the blaster is way too big compared to where it's coming out of. So for that, just go on cylinder, just make it, you know, a bit smaller. It could help. So for that, just turn on the collection. Yeah. And you can make the whole thing thinner. I'm going to leave it a bit bigger and also make it longer on the Z axis or uh, let's try the X X. Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, cool. Now we've got our big blasters coming out of it. So once we've done this, so yeah, preview mode, we're going to just go ahead and click on uh, the emitter, duplicate it, and just do the same thing for the bottom one. And now you can notice we have two issues. First, we can see the emitter. And second, uh, the shooting is, you know, two of the same. So to fix that, there's one simple solution. We're just going to go ahead and select all of them, then hit Control J. And then, so first of all, you can see now it's random. It's randomly being shooted out of uh, the X-Wing. And then to hide the emitter, you're going to go to your particle system. Then in render, you're going to uncheck show emitter and do the same for where is it oh yeah viewport display turn off show emitter and perfect now yeah now we've got the blasters coming out of the x-wing and the cool thing is that if we go on to ev uh yeah now you can see there's actually light that's influencing the x-wing and that's exactly what we want so yeah, uh, that was all for this episode. I hope you really enjoyed it and uh, we'll meet you next week for the part two in which we're gonna be taking a look at how to set up the scene and how to easily animate the spaceships. So yeah, have a nice one.